Hi everyone, today I'm talking about getting into Microsoft again and adding into my position. I'm going to talk about to you why I got in Microsoft, where I'm planning to sell Microsoft and everything pretty much Microsoft related. Um, I'm still kind of in my uh, property that I'm going, investing in right now to um, be renting out. I'm over here doing a little bit of work on it and it should be ready in about three or four months. Um, so for me to still upload videos, I've got to record videos here today rather than where I normally record them in my where I have my whiteboard. But I'll probably still put some like information down on like this left hand side um, while I'm recording the video overall. So um, yeah, Microsoft. If you watch if first time watching the channel overall, um, then you probably won't know. Um, my main position in the stock market is Microsoft, and I um have been investing in a lot of stocks that haven't been Microsoft um lately. And my Microsoft position hasn't really grown as much, and I've said I always want to keep growing that Microsoft position overall. Um, and I've had the money on the side to buy Microsoft, and I really should have bought around about the 102 range, um, but it's going back up again, and um, I probably won't buy any more stocks in uh, for February and potentially um, even March. Um, the next time I'll probably buy some stocks are April, so I kind of wanted to invest in this rather than waiting around a little bit, and I still felt Microsoft was undervalued overall. Um, I actually bought into Microsoft at $106.80 and eight cents is where I actually got into Microsoft and um, that's where I bought my new position into it and into my old position that I got into Microsoft which was around the, like the $90 range uh, something like that back on uh, Christmas Eve or um, whenever it was that the stock market was down that big drop that we had I bought my position in there as well um, but yeah Microsoft is just my favorite stock on the stock market and I needed to make that position and just extend it into a bigger position than what I have right now um, we've been buying a lot of other stocks, you know, I want to keep that as my main position. There's a few reasons why um, I like Microsoft. So the first one is like the PE. Uh, even the PE is quite quite high. When you look at the forward PE, you know, you're still around the 23 range. So that's totally fine with me. When we look at a company that's growing up, like how Microsoft is growing overall. Um, it's a long-term hold. All my investments are long-term hold and it has a nice dividend that's going to carry forward. So from a dividend point of view, uh, it's a nice dividend that will carry on growing as well. Um, discount wise, I always try to buy stocks that are on discount. Is Microsoft on a discount right now? I believe so. I think you know when we look at the highs, it's around 116. Um, so it's about 10 10 percent still below its highs right now. So that's still a discount to me. Um, so I managed to get it on a discount. I won't buy towards the high side of it. Um, so that's that was a good move as well. So I got the P. I got the discount side of it. Look at the EPS. The EPS is still near a 10 percent growth, which is really good. Um, as well as the dividend and also the revenue side of it, you know, we're still looking at double digit revenue. So for me, uh, and it's also a market leader in its sector, so for me, it ticks all the boxes I look for when investing. And normally it's really hard for me to find a stock that actually ticks all the boxes that I look for. Normally I get kind of like a four out of five stock, um, and this one is a five out of five stock where it has all the things that I look for in the company. Um, you know, the, how diversified it is in its area as well and how strong it is is a really good thing as well. We look at the growth of actual Microsoft right now and it's growing absolutely huge. It's got so many sectors going for it. You know, you look at the basically, you know, the, the office side of it and how that's growing and how they change that to a subscription side of it. That's paid off. It's massive. The gaming side of it is growing still massively. The LinkedIn side of it, the cloud side of it, you know, it's it's in so many areas that are growing absolutely huge right now. Um, so from that kind of view, you know, you get a, you're getting into a really diversified kind of company with all them things going for it. Like I say, it's really hard for me to find a stock like Microsoft that has all them things and is on a discount. So I was really happy with that, you know, for me to find another stock that's kind of close to it. You know, I've got to look at, you know, some other tech companies, but even, you know, even they are missing one of those elements to it. So I was really happy that I extended my position to Microsoft. And like I say, um, I probably won't be picking up any more positions probably for about a month and a half now. Um, but probably in a month and a half time, we'll be trying to buy something. Another thing that I'm also considering as well is that I feel like the stock market is slightly getting overvalued now. When we look at kind of like the side of it, it's due a bit of a pullback. You know, we look at the stock market, it, the S&P, it's quite off its 50-day moving average, off its 20-day moving average. And um, we, we don't like when a stock market goes straight up because that's when it's normally due a pullback. Um, if it goes up too quick, it normally comes down pretty quick as well. We saw that back in March in 2018. We saw a big massive pullback down there when that happened. So yeah, I think it's due a pullback at some point soon. Um, and that's probably where I'll be looking to get into my positions. Hopefully that'll be about in a month's time. And I'll be able to get some more stocks on a discount, which I'll talk about 
Microsoft itself, when I'm going to sell Microsoft, I'm probably not looking at selling Microsoft for a while because um, it's my favorite position in the stock market. It definitely probably won't be sold this year. Um, so I'm looking at probably at least, I can't really tell too far into the future, like I haven't got a crystal ball, um, but I'd say at least it's probably safe in my portfolio for another two years yet. Um, you know, I, I believe the stock is going to be in the $120 per share range um, going forward at some point soon hopefully by the end of the year so um, I'll probably take it from the end of the year but I, I probably even then like I said I probably won't be looking to sell it for like another two years ish um, and take it from there um, we'll see what happens it's hard to always tell in the stock market it's hard to predict things in the stock market that's why I kind of say you know we'll see what happens but a rough estimate what I'm thinking is that I'll wait for it to get to 120 and hopefully that'll be by the end of the year and then we'll take it from there like and see what happens um, but yeah that, that's me adding my position into Microsoft overall, guys, and just thought I'll update you with it. I always update you when I buy positions in the stock market, um, and that was one of the positions I bought in Microsoft. I think I bought, bought it at that price, I think, last week on Tuesday, I think it was. Um, so it was a few days ago, so I was a little bit slow updating it, but um, there you are. I have um, added a position into Microsoft. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll be doing the 10 stocks that I'm probably looking at buying in towards March, um, which... It, probably will happen um, at some point I'll probably buy one of those stocks in March um, so I'll do that video at some point soon. Um, thanks for watching, give the video a like, thanks for all the support recently, it's been absolutely amazing and I'll see you in the next video.